Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about how water injection works and more specifically we're going to be looking at a system implemented on the BMW M4 GTS which is one of very few production cars which has actually seen a water injection system. And so here we've got a diagram looking at you know the overall setup simplified diagram of what's going on with this BMW engine. It is a three liter inline six cylinder twin turbocharged. Um, I've drawn you know short little stubby intake filters here in reality it's going to be pulling in air from the very front of the car and routing that over to these two turbochargers so your air comes in the air filter passes through the compressor side of that turbocharger that turbocharger is going to compress that air heat it up a bit it's then going to pass through an air to water uh, intercooler so you've got a heat exchanger uh, with fluid flowing through it so you'll have a pump in line with this that will force that fluid to go through this intercooler and then back out once it's been heated from that compressed air. So that compressed air is passing through that air to water intercooler, cooling down after it's passed through into your intake manifold and then into the engine. Of course, using that intercooler because you don't want that super hot air from the compressor going into your engine. It means more chance of knock. It means less power because it's less dense if it's heated up. So this air to water charge intercooler on this engine uh, is actually quite effective. Uh, BMW claims they can bring temperatures from about 160 degrees Celsius before this intercooler down to about 70 degrees Celsius after that charge intercooler. And so, you know, as you start to get into higher RPM, uh, as you start to have more combustion cycles per unit of time, that of course means that you're going to have more heat in that engine. And as you start to get into higher load scenarios, when you're flooring it and you're making maximum power using full boost from these turbochargers, of course that also means you're going to make more heat. And so as a result, the likelihood of running into knock becomes an issue. And so what do we do about this? How do we prevent knock from occurring? Well, BMW does it by implementing this water injection system. And so if you increase above 5,000 RPM and you're flooring it, so both conditions have to be met, you have to be above uh, 5,000 RPM and flooring it, then it's going to start to use this water injection system. So you've got this five liter water reservoir, it's got a pump, and then that pump, this is actually in the trunk of the car, so far back uh, from uh, the engine, uh, but then it will pump that water all the way to these injectors, which are placed within the intake manifold. There's three injectors, and they will spray that water in at about 145 PSI. So in doing so, uh, BMW claims they're able to reduce the intake temperature another 25 degrees Celsius. So if you're at 70 coming out of the charge air cooler, then entering this intake manifold, you're going to cool that down to about 45 degrees Celsius before that air actually enters into the engine. So why does injecting water cool it? Well, this is from the evaporation of the water. So you're injecting that liquid water and as it evaporates, it absorbs energy from around it and cools down that intake air. And so by decreasing the temperature, that means the temperature going into the engine is lower and that means you're going to have a reduced likelihood of running into knock as an issue because you're reducing your combustion temperatures. So there's several advantages in doing this. Uh, of course, the likelihood of having knock is reduced, uh, but you can do things now that you've reduced the likelihood of knock. So first of all, of course, you're going to have a bit more dense air, so that means a bit more oxygen. But by reducing the likelihood of knock, it means you can also increase the boost. And so BMW does this from 17.2 PSI to about 21.6 PSI with this engine uh, versus the base engine in uh, the BMW uh, M4 with the competition package. So it's raising power from 444 horsepower, uh, which is the competition engine, to 493 with this GTS. So an increase of 49 horsepower, and most of that is done by increasing boost, as well as advancing the timing. And the reason why you're able to do that is because you have reduced combustion temperatures. Uh, so very cool what they've been able to do simply by injecting water into the system. You are able to improve horsepower by about 50 uh, by you know altering boost and advancing the timing. An additional benefit of this water injection system is that it reduces the thermal stress on a lot of the components. So the pistons, the exhaust valves, and the catalytic inverter are all going to have reduced thermal stress as well as the turbos because since your combustion temperatures are going to be decreased you're going to have lower exhaust temperatures. All right so let's get into some of the logistics of this engine and how this water system operates. So you know how long does this water tank last? We've got a five liter tank and BMW has sized that 
so that you can take the car on a track, drive on that track, and the water will last the exact duration that your gasoline will last. So you have to refill both together, uh, assuming you're track driving. Now again, this is operating above 5,000 RPM and at wide open throttle. When you're just cruising around on the highway, things like that, you're going to use it far less frequently. So BMW states it'll be about five to six tanks that you'll need to refill the water tank. Uh, and if you're just cruising around, never, you know, getting into wide open throttle and high RPM, then, you know, you never really have to refill that water. The other question, of course, that comes up when you're dealing with water is what about temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit? And so BMW has this system set up so that it only runs if it's 41 degrees outside or greater. That way they're preventing this from freezing up, especially in these steel lines that are traveling to your intake manifold. And so the pump also, a clever thing that they do, once you shut the car off, the pump is going to pull back all of the water that's within these lines and put it back into the reservoir so you don't have to worry about that water corroding in these lines or that water actually having an effect on these lines if it were to freeze and expand and cause damage to them. So they've thought it out. You know, if it's below freezing, you're not going to be able to use the water injection system because they want to make sure that those lines don't freeze up and uh, they make sure that when you shut it off, you don't have water expanding in those lines. So what happens if you can't use the system or, for example, if you run out of water? Well, very simply, it just detunes the engine. So it recognizes that you're out of water and then it switches from that 493 horsepower mode down to the 444 horsepower mode by reducing the boost and by reducing the timing advance that you have. And so it's able to run and operate and switch very easily between those two modes uh, without it being, you know, super noticeable to the driver as far as, yes, you have a reduction in power, but it's not going to be this like rough experience of it switching over between the two modes. Uh, so, you know, operates like a normal car when you're out of water, great. And if you do have that water, you get an additional about 50 horsepower. So pretty cool. If you guys have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching.